But do you do you think that you're going to have a difficult run, especially because you are you're running against someone like an Atiku, who had millions of votes in the last election, and then you have the emergence of um, someone like Peter Obi, who is now enjoying a lot of popularity, especially among young people. Um, how difficult do you think that this race will be for you? We are confident. We are not um, underrating anybody. So let me not come on air and um, uh, sound overconfident. But we are, we are working hard. We are sure of victory, but we are not underrating anybody. If you want me to go into the demographics now, I will not go into the demographics. But I want you to put down, carry your diary, put me down one week to voting, to voting day next year. I will come and give you the demographics. If I give you the demographics now, I'm going to let out from, the, from my bag, let out the secret from our bag, from our war room, how we are making our calculations and the demographics around the country and why we are sure of victory. We're not underrating anybody, but I will not go into the demographics now as a spokesman of the party. We keep working hard. Call me a week to, to vote in. I will tell you why we are going to win. Mm. When you... When you when you interact with people on the street, especially young people, only one name comes up. Um, I, I don't know who you have been speaking with in terms of demographics, but most young people in the country today, um, you even hear it on, on social media, that most of them are part of the Peter Obi movement. Does that worry you that um, perhaps a chunk of vote, voters no, no. has been taken by him and that you have, this is a, a race where, in fact, some people are talking about swing votes and sw swing states as well, that the battle has now been made really, really difficult and you have to do a lot of work to get um, people on your side. No. Outside the Southeast, Peter Obi is just a carpet bagger. Outside the southeast, and but we suspect he, just, he may just be a Trojan horse for Atiku Abubakar. So this, the, the love may even turn to hate when his own supporters may discover that he's working for Atiku Abubakar. So we want to warn people in advance that we have intelligence report that he may be working for Atiku Abubakar at the end of the day. So the supporters should brace up for the fact that they may be misleading them to nowhere. But I can tell you, I can tell you that outside the southeast, he's just a carpet bagger. He goes nowhere. Uh, okay. Secondly. Uh, I just want to let you know, too, that uh, most of this social media hype you are seeing, we have intelligence reports, we know where some of them are. They carry 20 boys in one room and begin to uh, uh, use um, 5,000 um, uh, avatar accounts to tweet and abuse everybody. Campaign strategies will nev is never to abuse and threaten people and all that. We are, we, are, we are way past that, not, not for people like us. So we, know, we have intelligence reports. We know some of we are, We already know where they are. They just carry 20 points in one They're using avatars, avatars to abuse everybody. You don't win elections by abusing and threatening people. By the day they start counting the votes, those avatars will vanish, I can assure them. So they should let, I will let them know today that we are not moved by all those avatars on Twitter and all that. It's just all rubbish. Mm. And you don't think that that has translated to real structure on the ground? It's Twitter structure. It's Twitter police station. It's Facebook police station.